So I just went grocery shopping at Sprouts with Mama Bee. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what I got first. Well, some of these are for Mama Bee's house, like the asparagus. I'll show you this side first. These are hers, mushroom. We both got a thing of romaine heart organic lettuce, which is our favorite kind of lettuce. Some zucchinis. And I found my yellow mangoes that I love, the honey mangoes, so I got four of them. Some bananas, I got two peppers to have with hummus. Um, an avocado, two lemons, blueberries. I got some provolone cheese and some Applegate natural turkey, herb turkey breast. Some sprouts for my sandwiches. Some egg whites, light sour cream. This is the artichoke and spinach hummus, so good. I'm trying this dressing out for the first time, the cilantro avocado dressing from Bolt House Farms. I got some of these blue chips. Artisan corn tortilla chips because we're gonna make our turkey meat with the taco our taco oh god I can't talk taco turkey meat with taco seasoning. So I'm gonna use that for lunches. I'm trying this out for the first time, some sriracha beef jerky. I got three different complete cookies because these were four for five, I think. Yes, four for five. And these are all different flavors I haven't tried before. This one is called coconut chocolate chip, birthday cake, and peanut butter, double chocolate peanut butter. I got two of those. They didn't have sugar, not sugar cookie, Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle, that's right, that's my favorite kind. Then I got this like trail mix that's spicy. I just wanted to try a little bit. I got like a half a pound of it. Some Melba rounds, I'm gonna put these with, in my salads. Then I got some almond milk. This is the unsweetened vanilla. Yeah, less, and that one had less carbs. Yeah, less carbs and less calories from this brand than the silk. And that's it. So I'm putting together my lunch for tomorrow. I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek <laughs> at what I'm preparing. So this is turkey taco meat with kidney and black beans, just for some extra protein and filling content. So I have about a cup of that in here. And these little glass containers actually came in my lunch pail here. And this lunch pail, I believe I got at TJ Maxx a while back, but I'm sure they have something similar to it. Um, but anyway, so I have that in one container. Then I have a half of an avocado um, cut up and then about a tablespoon and a half of light sour cream. And then I have the other half, half of avocado for tomorrow, or the next day, excuse me. Then I have two of these Sprouts Artisan Corn Wheat Blend Tortillas. They're 90 calories. They have five grams of protein in them, which is awesome and two grams of fiber, 16 carbs. It's not too crazy, so I have two of those in a little wrap, and then I have a little bit of cheese, shredded, this one, the reduced fat four cheese Mexican shredded cheese in a little baggie. So I'm gonna put that all in this little container here. And then I do also have a little mini container of Frank's Red Hot Sauce that I'm gonna bring with me. And then for my dessert or my snack in the middle of the day, I do have a half of a complete cookie. This is the birthday cake kind, and I've never tried it, so hopefully it's good. So that's what I have for my food for tomorrow at work. And as you can see, that fits all nicely in there. I even have the Frank's little hot sauce. It's called Fit and Fresh is the name of this little lunch pail. So I'm gonna stick that in there. And then I'm gonna have my cookie on the top there. And then I'll just zip it up. And it's nice and ready for work tomorrow. Hey guys, I know I'm looking pretty snazzy. I'm trying out the L'Oreal Pure Clay mask. And this exfoliates and refines pores. It actually has, I don't know if you can see, little scrubbies in it. So when it dries down and I look crazy, when it dries down and I remove it, then it will be kind of exfoliating as well. Um, so far, I am enjoying these masks, but the only thing I don't appreciate is the high level of fragrance in their products um, because I have heard fragrance is really kind of not great for your skin. Um, let me see the ingredients list. It's not one of the first ingredients. But I do notice, just having this mask on right now, I can smell the fragrance. It's a very pleasant fragrance. Um, but yeah, that just a little bit concerns me. But 
I do really like how the masks have performed so far. Um, I tried the charcoal one the other night, and I'm sorry I didn't show you, and that one was nice as well. So I wanted to give this one a try too before I filmed like a haul video that I'm gonna show with these products. So yeah, I will let you know then my complete thoughts, but I just thought I'd show you how snazzy it looks. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I thought I'd show you my makeup real quick. It's nothing special, but I really wanted to show you the lip combo because I really liked it. Um, on my cheeks, I have the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Highlight Palette in Gleam. I have the bronzer from MAC in Delicates, and my blush is called Love from NARS. And I have, I've been using the number no. 7 Airbrush Away Foundation pretty much every single day. Like, I feel like I'm going to use this up soon. I really like it. Um, on my eyes, I have the Urban Decay Naked Palette. It's just gold and a few, like, matte browns. I got a tickle in my throat. <clears throat> For my lip combo, I have the Sleek Lip VIP Semi Matte Lipstick in the shade Private Booth. It's just a really pretty, like, peachy nude, but I wanted to give it a little bit more of a peachy color or... I don't know, coral color. So I ended up putting creamsicle on top of it from Buxom. This is like probably one of my favorite summer glosses. So yeah, just wanted to show you that. And now I'm off to work. Hey guys, I am hurting. Um, this is my second time working out with my trainer this week. So I've now been three times, three sessions so far. Might not look like it, but I I woke I worked out in my makeup. My contour stayed pretty dang good in my highlight. <laughs> my foundation not so much, especially on the center of my face. Um, but yeah, it was it was an intense workout. But I feel like I'm doing pretty good. And my face looks so fat. We're working on that. So I had two packages waiting for me when I got home. The first one, ironically, is called Treatsy Artisan Sweets. I'll be trying this out with Mama Bee. I'm obviously not going to be eating these anytime soon. <laughs> After working out, sweets come to my door. My goodness. Anyways, this is the June box. And I'll go over these sweet treats once we do like a little try it Tuesday. But there's lots of yummy little confections in here like oatmeal, cookie, salted caramel corn, some little lemon cookie butter cookies, some caramels. Some brittle, I think this is. Yeah, it looks like brittle to me. A brownie. Oh my goodness. That's just not, that's just not right. Just not right. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be trying those out for you soon. And then this, I'm even more excited about. It is the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation. I've been hearing, hearing some really great reviews on this. They sent me two shades. Y215 and I believe this is 225. Yes, so I think I think I might be closer to the lighter shade right now, but we'll see. I've heard, yeah, like I said, I've heard really good things, so. And they sent me a little note, of course, with it. I'm really impressed by the packaging. It looks so much more like high-end than the face and body did, which I believe this did replace face and body. So I'm really excited. If you guys want a full review, let me know. Hey guys, we're at Costa Vida. This is my first time here. I got steak and chicken taco with black beans. Looks really, really good. I'm here with Olivia. I'm just gonna show you her food to prove that she's here with me. But yeah, <laughs> looks really, really good. You guys, I came home to this amazing beautiful, sparkly, gorgeous painting. This is from Z Gallery, it's called Pearly Haze, and I believe it's in the biggest size. Mama B actually got this for me for my birthday, and I don't know if you can really tell how big it is. My sofa, it's as, as long as my whole sofa. But as you can see, I have a huge wall. So I've been, this is the painting I've been wanting so much, but I have been saving and like kind of pushing it off because you know a painting is kind of like I don't know it's harder to spend money on a painting like than furniture so I've been buying furniture more so this is what Mama V got for me for my birthday and I'm gonna show you up close so you can see 
how absolutely beautiful it is. I saw this actually in, can you see? I hope you can. See how it has glitter all on it? And it's just the perfect colors because my whole home is grays, whites, um, and also I have pops of teal as well. So this is just so perfect. And then I will end up replacing my sofa with this gray one. I already have one picked out, but it's $900. So I'm kind of saving for it first. I seem out of breath, I know, because I'm just so excited. Like I wasn't expecting this to be in my home. And I come home and I was like, oh my God, what the heck? And because it's not my birthday until two more weeks. So I'm just so, so happy. Ah, oh, thank you to Mama B. Um, but anyways, I was in the middle of the story. I saw this painting in a, like a designer, what are those called? Like an antique kind of store. And then I realized that Z Gallery carried it. And they had a sale recently for 15% off their artwork. Now this painting is still extremely expensive, even with a discount. Um, but like I said, it was my birthday gift. I'm very, very lucky to have it. But I just, I realized recently from Jaclyn Hill's Snapchat that I think she has the same exact painting and I swear I'm not trying to copy her whatsoever. I fell in love with this painting probably, I think about six, six or seven months ago. She might have had it then too, I'm not sure. I've never seen like a house tour of hers or anything. I don't think she has one. But I did see it in the background of her video the other day and I freaked out out i was like oh my god she has the same painting that i want and i was super jealous <laughs> so i'm just really really happy um to have this so yeah i thought i'd share with you obviously when it's all hung up i really want to wait till i get my new sofa and have this hung up before i do a home tour i'll give you guys like a brief look around it's probably a little messy not really there's my kitchen area over there and then the rooms are back there. It's all dark because I don't have anything on. But here's like my living room area. You've kind of seen this already. Um, I also need to get like an entertainment unit or I want to do built-ins in this little alcove. Um, so that's it for right now. And then you've seen this many a time because I used to film in front of it for a little bit. So yeah. That's it for now. I promise I will do a house tour in the very near future. I just went and got my nails done. They were in dire need. And I was inspired by HRH Collection because she had like some really awesome pink nails on the other day. So I got this polish and I really love it. It's called Pink Hill NC, which I believe, I think it's like a place in North Carolina, I believe. But it's the DND polish. And it's so pretty, I love it. Okay guys, so here's my salad. I showed you pretty much all of it that I put in it. I chopped up some avocado, some zucchini, not zucchini, some cucumber, some red bell pepper, some carrots, some sprouts. These are alfalfa sprouts, I believe. And then some chickpeas. I put a little bit of mustache and salt in here as well. And then I just tore up a little bit of herb turkey breast. Um, it's really low in calorie and gives me a little bit more protein. 
And this is going to be my dinner, by the way. And then I'm going to be using the cilantro avocado yogurt dressing from Bolt House Farms. Really low in calorie and very tasty. So yeah, that is what I'm having for dinner. It's a pretty big salad. So I went to my P.O. box today and I got some really sweet notes from a few subscribers. This is Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. I loved your note. And this one is from, I forget the name, sorry, Jenna. Thank you so much, Jenna. This card is so cute too. And then this one is from Shondell. If you guys remember, Shondell sent me a really amazing package recently. I sent her a little thank you note too, but she sent me this card. No offense to any of my beautiful cards that I receive, but I just have to say, this is my favorite card of all time. <laughs> she made this with all Walking Dead photos. I especially appreciate this one, <laughs> of course. So yeah, I thought this was super cool. I love all the little like quotes and sayings. And then inside, she did write a little note to me expressing a thank you for getting her addicted to The Walking Dead. And you're so welcome, girl. <laughs> I'm glad you are just as obsessed as me and Mama B are. And I seriously feel like I need to rewatch from season one because I'm missing it so, so much. But thank you, thank you, all three of you for these beautiful notes. Really makes my day to receive these awesome cards from you guys. And I'll be writing you back. And then I wanted to show you something else I got in the mail. Um, from PR and some of you might be able to notice from this little logo dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Oh, Clarisonic. So this is the new Mia fit ready for this Look at her It matches my nails. Oh my god. It like almost exactly matches my nails. I did not plan that Look how freaking cute this is it's like your little buddy, your little travel companion. I'm so pumped, guys. I'm so pumped to try this. So this is the perfect pairing with Lancome Radiance Clarifying Cream to Foam Cleanser plus Mia Fit. And this is Clarisonic. And here's what it does. I'll be testing it out and letting you know what I think soon. I have a Clarisonic Mia 2, and I love her. But my little Mia Fit is going to be tried out, and we'll see what I think. But pretty much the same benefits as a regular Clarisonic, but you have it in a handy dandy, one that you can bring to the gym, on vacation. Yeah, it's pretty dang cool. Okay, so then on this side, this little, little um, box opens, and what does this say? Charge for 18 hours. Oh, there's a little charger in here. Look how cute that charger stand is. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Apply your favorite cleanser. It's just like a quick start guide, I guess. There's two different settings. Ooh, for a deep cleanse. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, but this just has, uh, I think this is the um, acne head brush, if I remember correctly, from working at Sephora. And then here is the Lancome Creme Radiance. It's a little dusty from the paper inside. Yeah, I've never actually tried that. Anyways, I just wanted to show you how cool this was. It really made my day. So right now I'm trying out the 24 karat gold mask. This is not it. From Peter Thomas Roth. It's very pretty, that's for sure. Um, I've noticed on this vlog I've been looking pretty hideous the whole time. Good times, but you know, keeping it real. I wanted to tell you guys an update on the Nair Bikini Cream. Like it's a hair remover for your bikini area and I forgot to update you on it after I used it. Um, first of all, you use a lot of products in one time because you're supposed to do kind of a thick layer. Um, it didn't irritate me, but I, I might have not left it on long enough because I didn't feel like it worked really that well and it didn't it, a little bit irritated that area so I think I will end up using this up it smells so horrid too like fish 
Oh my God, it's so horrible. It's such a horrible smell. Um, so I think I'll probably end up using this up maybe like on my legs or something, but I would not use it on my bikini area and I would not suggest it to you again. So I don't feel like it did that great of a job and it was kind of irritating. So yeah. Hey guys, I still have to curl my hair and I'm going to be filming two videos today. But I wanted to show you my makeup real quick. My highlight today is this beauty from Bobbi Brown. It is in Pink Glow. So pretty. So I have that on today. My blush is the Too Faced Love Flush I Will Always Love You. My lip color is from Merle Norman, and it's one of their creamy lip colors in California Girl. I think it's so, so beautiful, and I love the formulation of these lipsticks. I'm probably going to put this gloss on top of it as well after I do my hair. And this is the lip polish in the shade All Star, and it's just like an duochrome glitters in it and it's just a clear gloss and then these lashes can we just talk about these lashes like are you kidding me they're so pretty they're from mosquito and they're their double up lashes in black magic and now I'm gonna go curl my hair so I can get ready to film so this is the disaster after filming a PR haul <laughs> And BoxyCharm I filmed as well. Oh, there's more over here. Yeah, craziness. Hey guys, so I just filmed two videos for you, and I think I only spoke about that on Snapchat. Sometimes I forget because, you know, I'm vlogging, then I Snapchat, who knows. But anyways, um, I did end up curling my hair. It's kind of fallen out a little bit now. I filmed two videos, and I'm doing um, my try-on, like taking pictures of my try-on and for my clothing haul. And isn't this shirt so freaking cute? I don't know why I love it. I'm gonna film in it soon too for you guys. I think it's gonna be so cute on camera, but it kind of goes with my lips today. I love it. I forgot to show you guys, I got this case and since I film with my iPhone, which I actually am going to possibly get a vlogging camera soon. But anyways, since I vlog with my iPhone, it's hard to show you when I get a new phone case because I love to put it on it right away. But isn't this beautiful? I love this case. It's from Coopley, and I will leave them linked down below. I think this one is called the Pink Sunset. And see how, like, the sun is around the little apple here? And it's like a gradient of beautiful, like, um, corally shades here and then this beautiful purple. I love that it is a clear like acrylic case that really hugs my phone and it, it does go around the sides as well here on the buttons and there's a ton of different styles so if you're interested I will leave them linked down below and I may be doing a giveaway soon on my um, Instagram as well for these.